there you go. There is a good shot of all four controllers. Now we're going to go ahead and set this up real quick, and we're going to um, download two games. We're going to try them out and go from there. First, we're going to go with the Moga Pocket here. We need to open up the Play Store, and we need to download an app called Moga Pivot. For me, it's already installed because I already own Moga controllers. So you go ahead and install it. But I'm going to open it up, and then it's going to um, ask me to uh, turn on Bluetooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Allow. And then it's going to say Continue. And Continue to Moga Pivot. From the Moga Pivot app, we're going to go ahead and hit the Settings button. And then we're going to go to Add Manage Controllers. And as you can see, there's my older one. I'm going to go ahead and press Add a New Controller. And from here, it's going to ask me which one I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and go Moga Hero Power. And then I'm going to set up both A and B. And then it says to put it on B mode. Whenever you uh, turn it off, if you had it on the wrong mode, they recommend waiting five seconds to switch it over to the new mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That is now orange. And the power is blinking blue. So Moga is ready. It's going to search. This does take just a little bit. So be, please be patient. All right, so now it says it's syncing, so we've made a little bit of progress. It found the controller. Now it says on the next screen you need to press on Moga Pro HID. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Moga Pro HID. And then if it doesn't take you to the previous screen automatically, it says to press the back button. Okay, I, I hit the wrong one, I think. Uh, Moga 2 HID. Can I cancel that? Okay, so I hit the wrong one. It's MOGA2 HID. There we go. It is connected. We're going to go back, and it says, Congratulations, the controller is now available for use. Um, it didn't ask me to set up A mode, so that was a little weird. Uh, maybe it already did it. We're going to go to the Play Store, and we're going to download. Um, we can browse all of their apps that are available. This is the Featured section. Uh, they've got Angry Birds Go, Grand Theft Auto, which is a pretty cool game. It works with the Shield and the MOGA controllers perfectly fine. And we're going to go ahead and search for Dead Trigger. And then Dead Trigger 2, and then Free, OK. And then go to the Play Store, and we're going to go ahead and install it. And this is a fairly large game, so this will take just a minute. And we're going to go ahead and, while that's downloading, we're going to go ahead and set up the MOGA Pro. Now, I am running a custom ROM, CyanGemod, on my Note 3, so that's why it looks a little bit different than yours probably does. So, we're going to open up the Play Store, and we're going to search for that Moga Pivot app. And then, just click on it, it's free. Go to Install. And then Accept, and wait for it to download. It doesn't take very long, it's, well, it's 32 megabytes, so, depending on how slow or fast your internet is, it could take a little bit. My internet's not being very fast at all. I know that's a little bit hard to read, so sorry about that. And of course, I'm not getting any signal at all through Sprint. Oh, now I have a bar. I'm on Wi-Fi, but my router's downstairs. And sometimes, Comcast doesn't always cooperate. All right, so thanks for internet being crappy. It finally installed, so we're going to go ahead and press Open, and then Set Up, and turn on Bluetooth, Allow. And then we have the Moga Pro Power here, so we're going to set up both, both A and B. We need to switch it to B mode. And then now it's flashing, so we're going to hit Moga is ready. And just like before, it takes it a good minute to do this. All right, it says the Moga has been paired. I got a phone call, so that's why it, it fast. I had to skip through this. So Moga Pro 2 HID, press on that. Again, if it doesn't redirect you back, you need to go ahead and press the back button. And then we need to configure mode A. So this is what it didn't ask me before. And I'm using this to weigh this down a little bit because it wasn't weighed down enough to do that. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off for five seconds like it recommends. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to hit continue and we're going to switch over to mode A. And it's green and that's blinking so moga is ready and then this takes just a minute all right so the moga is ready we're gonna go ahead and hit uh not now i already have pac-man but it comes with it 
You can go ahead and register and redeem your code and stuff. So skip and game on. And now we're going to download uh, a game. Just a quick note here, you can use the D-pad and the buttons on the MOGA controller to navigate like A to select an app, B to go back, up, down, left, right, and etc. So you can use the controller, you do not have to use the touch screen. Let's go ahead and search for Prince of Persia. And then there it is. It is a $2.99 game, so we're going to go ahead and it's going to take us to the Play Store. We're going to go ahead and click on it, and then we're going to buy it. You don't have to. What I meant by you don't have to is you don't have to buy the game if you don't want to play the game. But if you do want to play the game, you have to buy it or at least have bought it in the past. Alright, open it up. And then we're going to go ahead and just play this for a little bit. So I tap the button, it worked just fine. I can use the joysticks or the D-pad, new game. And then we're going to see what this is like. I want to go ahead and skip that. All right, awesome. So it gives you a little uh, readout. Let me take a screenshot of this and I'll put it up in the video. All right, so I took the screenshot and they're up on the screen right now. I'm going through the menu, navigate, and fight options. Fun fact, on the NVIDIA Shield, the same exact MOGA picture pops up, even though you're playing on an NVIDIA Shield. So that give you an idea of what controls were what. So this is a roll. That's a jump. That doesn't do anything just yet, and why doesn't either? The triggers does something. It made me go sparkly. So, uh... Oh, X makes you jump. Okay, yeah, I said that earlier. And then we gotta drop down. Jump on this little platform here. Somehow, some way. Ow! Oh! Oh, so you hold up and then jump and it gives you to the, like a, get you on a ledge. Got a little potion thing. I don't know what that does. I've never played this game before. This is my first time, so. Uh. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to Dead Trigger since that's done. But as you can see, it works just fine. Um, how do I fight this dude? Oh, why? Okay. And so. Yeah. Let's go ahead and move over to this guy right here, and we'll end the video because I know it's been pretty long. Open up. And we're just going to go ahead and play. I'm not going to sign in or anything. I just want to go ahead and play. Okay. All right, so we can look around. Oh, wait, it's not connected. And we need to do A mode, probably. Moga is ready. Yeah, because it never did the A mode. It just did the B mode. That was weird. So I'll go ahead and skip through this. Alright, so we can go back to that uh, Dead Trigger app or game and go back. And we're looking around and why can't we move though? That's weird. Let's go ahead and close the app out. Alright, so we went ahead and just try this again. I close out the game, close out all my apps, and relaunch the game. So hopefully this works properly now. I know this works with Dead Trigger 2. The Pro, the original Pro worked just fine with Dead Trigger 2. Okay, so now we're moving. I don't know what happened there, but we are moving now. And you can look around, and you don't have to touch on the screen. There's no on-screen buttons getting in the way, and you can't read things. So... Uh, navigation arrow means to go forward. Y switches your weapon. Switch to the hammer. And we can press L to aim down the sights and we can just fire on these freaking zombies and kill them. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm not going to make it any longer. 
please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are the two main social medias that I use the most. I also have Facebook, Google+, Second Channel, Gaming Channel, and etc. Links to all those will be in the description below. Please click where it says Show More to expand the description and see all of the links. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.